Hi, this is Jeff Tricoli with the Tricoli team here in Southeast Florida. Today I want to talk to you guys about the numbers and the market update for quarter two of 2023. All right, so what I want to go over first is our closed sales. So um, the second quarter, just like the first quarter, closed sales are down. Uh, there are less, about 13.3% decrease over the second quarter of 2022. So we've seen similar numbers uh, in the first quarter of this year. Uh, so closed units are down, uh, but that doesn't mean you have to get worried. It doesn't mean it's a bad time to sell. Uh, it just means the market, there's not as many buyers as we had uh, a little over a year ago. So in comparison, the Tricoli team actually sold 135 units or properties in the second quarter of 2023, which means we were able to help 135 people uh, buy or sell a home in the second quarter. That's actually a 14.8% increase for the Tricoli team year over year. So, so the difference of 13.3 and 14.8, that's a spread of about 28% uh, that we're outperforming the market basically here at the Tricoli team. Okay, the, the, the next point I'd like to discuss is just the pending sales. So um, the pending sales, which is a, a, a lead indicator. So what we like to look at is like the pendings now are going to reflect our third quarter. So uh, the Southeast market um, is actually down 11.4%. Um, so there's 5,300, a little over 5,300 homes that went under contract. Um, that is actually a 11.4% decrease. So again, there's there's less buyers, there's less homes going under contract. Doesn't mean it's a bad thing for sellers though. So um, com in comparison, the Tricoli team actually has a 4.9% increase in the second quarter. So we actually went under contract with 124 homes, which is up from uh, the same quarter of 2022, which is awesome. We're outperforming the market in closed units as well as pending units. So, so these first two points, the closed sales as well as the pending sales, not a great, not a great, great numbers, right? Markets down overall, even though our team's up. Uh, now, if you look at the median sales price, which which is a great indicator that it's still a great time to sell your home, the actual median sales price actually went up a little over 2%. It went up 2.7% in the second quarter uh, compared to 2022. So that's a, that's a great indication that um, even though there's less buyers, even though there's less home selling, if you price your home right and you use the right team to market it and, and get it out there to as many potential buyers, you can still net more money than you could last year. So it's, that's why it's really important to hire the right team uh, to, to still get your home on the market if you have to sell or want to sell and still take the benefits of what's going on because inventory is still very low, right? So our, our new listings, our active listings, uh, it's still a decrease. So we have a lot less um, new listings coming on the market. 28.9% less new listings this year compared to last year. And we have more active listings. So there are more homes on the market, less homes coming on the market there is still low inventory. So all that being said, there's still low inventory, uh, relatively speaking to pre-COVID. So really good time to still sell. If you hire the right team, you have a marketing plan in place, you price the home to get the home sold, still a great time to sell your home. Again, this is Jeff Tricoli with the Tricoli team. Uh, just in summary, still a great time to sell your home. We're happy to sit down and have a better consultation with you, go more thorough into your specific home, the value, uh, what we can end up selling it for. We'd be happy to talk to you. I hope this data was um, valuable for you. If you need, have any questions, need anything at all, don't hesitate to call us, email us, go to our website anytime. Thank you again.